Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is from a few weeks ago. It was the very end of the day, there was only five of us remaining, so we decided to play VIP for the remainder of the time. Um, I was the all-time VIP, being the more experienced player out of the five of us. I didn't want to make teams unbalanced. So every single round, we switched up teams with the players. We rotated it for just to make it a bit more fair, give everybody a chance, you know. Um, so this first round, I was playing with Chris and David on my team, and we were going against James and Reed. Yeah. Yeah. Five, three, two, one, go. Okay. Our boy gets shot immediately. He got shot immediately. Let me peek for you. Let me peek. Hey, buddy. With this excellent flank and killing the enemy there, I decided to move around a little bit to the outside. I wanted to play this game a little bit slower just to kind of give them a chance to kind of go out and get some action. Realistically, I could have probably sprinted from one side all the way around to the other corner and ended the game in a matter of like 10 seconds, but I wanted to give everybody a chance to have some fun. He's coming out, he's coming out, he's coming out. That's game! That's game! Good job, guys. All right, you're with me now. All right, with that win from Chris and David, we decided to switch teams, and now I'm gonna be with James and Reed for this next round. So I have an idea, it's a little risky. I wanna okay. know if you guys wanna try it. Okay. What they're not gonna expect is for us to push straight towards their spawn. Yes. We go straight through that, those doorways, okay. cut right across, they're not gonna expect it. Well, That's I'm what okay you guys wanna do. So yes. what I would need is one of you guys to push through this way, one of you guys needs to follow behind. Okay, easy, I'll be pointing on that, how about that? Okay, got it. Okay, you're back. All, right. All right, with a plan in place, it was time to get out there and get shit done. You're ready. All right, so my plan, we're gonna come through this way. I'm gonna cut through Kill House and then go up. So at this point, with my point man down and a lot of noises going on around me, I decided to retreat back into this corner and post up like a little turtle. Um, I kind of played as a VIP. I played it a little bit more like safeguard from Call of Duty in the sense where I did not really progress forward without somebody right next to me kind of directing me. That way, like I said before, I didn't just rush straight to the end and get the game over in 10 seconds. Oh. All right. Got it. Take one. Go. Watch right, watch right. Alright, I'll take a kill trade. How about that? I'll take the thing. Man. Thank you. Yep. Now, even though they said they were going to take a kill trade on here, I decided to make sure I called the bank just in case. Left corner. Push up with me. Come on. Okay, let's go. Hit, 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 hit. That's game. I'm sorry, James. Good fucking shot. Good fucking shot. 
So Chris here got me right on the leg when I don't think he meant to, but end of the game there. It was a great shot. Uh, we decided to take a quick break and then come back out for another round and switch up teams. All right, so for this next round here, it was David and James versus Chris and Reed. And I was letting David use my rifle because the one that he was using, the rental, his battery was dying. Um, however, for this game, my pistol was out of CO2 and I didn't have time to switch it out. So instead, I was just running around with my hatchet. So using my hatchet, I had two lives. And for this game only, this is not a normal thing that we do at this field, they allowed me to throw it. Unfortunately, I didn't get any kills, but it was still fun as hell. All right, so you guys are pretty much ready? Let's, uh, I'll have more than ready right give now. us like 20 seconds, we can come up with a plan. All right, yep. All right what's the plan? What do you think? Crawl Maybe. the whole way. <laughs> just army crawl it. Put the shield on my back like a turtle. We should both start with him this time and just... Wait, why, don't we, why don't we take you all the way around this way? You wanna take me around yeah. this way? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Do you want me to go like over there and be like... Well, that didn't work on me. I know, well, I was just being retarded. Okay, you guys ready then? Well, yeah, as soon as so we're, we're pushing this way? Yeah, let's push this way. All right, we're ready. As soon as you said something, I went around the other side because he's like, oh my god, he's trying to distract me. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, let's go. Shut it all the way. Okay, take point, push. Okay, we're cornered here. Hit! Oh no. It's a little, uh, uh, what's the word? Inconvenient. So hear me out, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's game. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I get another life. No, I got one more life. Keep going, keep going. So the only reason I was allowed to throw my axe for this round was because the five of us all agreed that I would be able to do it. Basically, we took a vote. We all said it would be fine. None of us were going to throw a hissy fit if I did it or anything like that. It was, a, it was all an agreement. Like I said, normally it is completely against the rules, and they absolutely avoid anyone throwing any sort of melee weapon. But with there being only five of us, we were like, hey, why the hell not? It's a good fucking shot. Oh God. He's right in front of me. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> that was close. One at the very end. Come up here. No, they're both over here. Nice. Never mind, they're not. You out of ammo? I think he's out of ammo. I think he's dry firing. All right, push up on me, push up. There we go. All right, so despite losing out that first game, we were able to dig it back and get the dub the second round. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any kills with the throwing axe. However, um, it was still fun. It was the first time I ever got to actually throw it at somebody, so that was pretty exciting. All right, so for this last game here, it was Reed and Chris versus David and James. I gave David my rifle like I did previously, but I also let Reed use my UMP just so that we had one player on one team who had tracers. We had one player on another team who had tracers. Therefore, there wasn't just a distinct advantage between one team versus the other team. Okay, what's our plan? So I think I killed him. <laughs> Top frag. I'll probably okay. I'll probably go to that corner because that's a really good spot, mm -hmm. and we'll probably push from that way. Push out. Long My concern is them out. coming from spawn this way. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because that's what that seems to be what they've been doing. Yeah. Um, I could counteract. You, you can hold that. it. Yeah. Okay. If you want, if you two want yeah, to push. So forward, you I'll take point. Run. I'll follow you. You want to run that way? Yep. Okay. All right. I'm okay All with right. that. Let's do it. All right, we're ready. This is very light compared to the one I have. Alright, take point. What? Is your trigger locked? Let me see. There you go. Right, thank you. Your trigger just locked. Be careful so you don't dry fire or uh, blind fire. Bang bang. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's game. <laughs> Yeah, here, you guys stay over there. I'm just gonna walk that way, and they're gonna try to push me up to this corner. Cool. So we're going back this way, guys. So exactly what I feared would happen did happen. They got right behind us. He literally put the muzzle of his rifle against my back, which is exactly how I knew he was there. I didn't hear him. I didn't expect him coming from that way. I thought one of my teammates was right behind me. But instead of doing what we normally do, where they would switch spawns, I instead decided to go to the other spawn and then just had them try to push me up to the opposite corner. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna push up to this wall. Get him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. There's one pushing out. I think I got him right in the finger. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Okay, I'm gonna push up to this corner real quick. Your spawn is right over here. Bang! Bang. Alright, so at this point, both of my teammates were dead and respawning. I decided to sit here in this corner. This little crack right here, I could see through almost perfectly. Um, I saw one of them coming through here later that I managed to get out and kill. Now, I didn't call the bang kill on this shield either. He was well within the 10 foot distance and within the uh, rule set, anybody who is running a shield can still be banked killed if they're within that minimum engagement distance. Um, I didn't call it just to keep the game live a little bit longer. This was the last game of the day. I just wanted to give them an opportunity to push up and I wanted to give these guys the most amount of time that they could have. I'm gonna go around here again and try okay. and get down. <laughs> Bang. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god. I'll watch your back. Okay. Alright, I'm coming. All right. Yeah, right, yeah, I'm gonna call it. And I just want to clarify this at the end of the game here too. It was a little bit different the way they do attackers and defenders. So normally attackers are going to attack the objectives while defenders are defending the objective. Uh, this one is a kind of a little bit weird because when you are a defender, you are defending the VIP, but you are also like escorting the VIP. So you're kind of attacking in a sense. Whereas when you're attacking, you're attacking the VIP, but you're also defending the area they need to be at to, uh, you know, win the game. Regardless, it was a really fun day playing with these guys. Uh, shout out if you guys are watching. Uh, I got some more content coming up here soon, so stay tuned to the channel.